Welcome to the Global Gadabout, a frugal introvert's guide to exploring the world further, longer, and cheaper. Today, I want to talk about airline regulations and make sure you know your rights if you are involuntarily bumped from a flight in Europe. I've developed a simple flowchart to help you figure out exactly what the airline does or does not owe you depending on your specific situation. You can find this infographic as well as a lot more important laws and common practices in my blog post on U.S. and European airline regulations, which I'll link in the description. So let's start at the beginning. Have you been bumped from a flight in Europe? No? Great, then have a nice trip and save this for future reference. Yes? Then do you want to be rerouted? Do you still want to take that flight? Or try your luck with another mode of transportation? Or stay put? If you don't want to be rerouted, the airline owes you a full refund. If you do want to be rerouted, can the airline get you to your destination within three hours of your original time? If so, they do not legally owe you anything for the inconvenience. Sorry. If not, is your flight distance 1,500 kilometers or less? If so, the airline owes you 250 euros. If your flight is longer than 1,500 kilometers, is it within the European Economic Community? This includes Belgium, Denmark, France, Germany, Greece, Ireland, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Portugal, Spain, the UK, and flights into these countries from Norway and Switzerland. Yes? Then the airline owes you 400 euros. No. Is your flight distance less than 3,500 kilometers? If so, they still owe you 400 euros. If it's farther than that, they owe you 600 euros. Hopefully, you won't have any problems flying in Europe. But if you do, now you know your rights. Thanks for listening. Check out my blog, theglobalgadabout.com, for a more in-depth post on this topic, including your rights regarding delays and overbooking in the USA, as well as more great travel tips and tales. You can sign up for my newsletter and get my free ultimate three-season carry-on bag packing list. The Global Gadabout has a podcast, YouTube channel, and Pinterest boards. Links are in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to be sure you don't miss any new content. Join me again next time for more fabulous solo budget travel tips from the Global Gadabout. Thank you.